Assalamu alaikum students, how are you? Are you fine? I hope so. Students, in this lecture, we will learn about set. So, starting with its definition, what is set? A set is a collection of distinct objects. This is a famous definition of set. So, you have to remember this definition. Okay? What is set? A set is a collection of distinct objects. Just like A is equal to 1, 2, 3. So, this is a collection. Yes, 1, 2, 3 is a collection because collection is more than one object. And a distinct also because 1, 2, 3 are different from each other. Okay? So, there are some points to be remembered. Okay? Which points? The first point is commas must be placed must be placed between each element these points there are four points i think these points you have to remember you have to note down also the first point is what the commas must be placed between each element second point is second point is enclosed by parenthesis okay set is enclosed by parenthesis you know there are three types of parenthesis uh, larger large parenthesis smaller parenthesis and the curly brackets okay larger brackets small brackets and curly brackets and for set the fundamental bracket is this curly bracket only this bracket can be used okay so uh, if i am saying that is this a set you say no this is not a set because numbers are distinct there are also commas but these brackets are different okay for this brackets this is not a set but when i am saying that is this a set one two three yes this is a set because everything is okay in this third point is repetition is not allowed repetition is not allowed just like if i am saying that is it a set you say no because one is repeated if one is repeated then it is not a set because note a set is a set is a function okay a set is a function and in function domain can't be repeated domain cannot be repeated because uh, set is a function okay now fourth point is let's proceed to the fourth point fourth point is a set denoted by capital letters a set can be denoted by capital letter of English alphabets Let's suppose A, B, Z, M, N. Okay. And the sorry, fifth point is fifth point is elements can be expressed in small letters. Elements in small letters. Just like A, B, C, this is a set, but A, B, this is not a set, okay? And set can be denoted by capital letter. Also, elements can be numbers, okay? So, this is also a set, this is also a, suppose this A is equal to this is also a set, but this is not a set because the elements are in capital letters, okay? Now, only these points you have to remember. So the second point, it means we have to uh, learn that the notation of a set, notation of a set, 
notation of set. It means how to denote a set or how to notate a set, notation of a set. There are three notations. First is tabular, tabular method and this tabular method is also called rooster method, rooster form, okay. Second one is descriptive method. Second one is descriptive method and the third one is sorry set builder form set builder form these three methods are used to uh, notate a set okay so uh, let's define these type of notations first one is tabular tabular form or method tabular means the famous method you also know this a is equal to a b c this is called tabular form tabular method okay tabular method in which the set is tabulated in parentheses these are parentheses okay curly brackets second one is what descriptive second one is descriptive this method in which we, uh, we describe a, a certain statement in statement for example first five letters of English alphabets suppose A is equal to first five letters of English alphabet this is also a, a notation of a set but it is called descriptive method okay now the third one is third one is set builder set builder form okay in this form set represents in the form of symbols in the form of symbols okay mathematical symbols just like i am giving you example natural sets natural set is a set which can be uh, defined by a set builder form like this x such that x belongs to natural set such that x sorry such that i'm removing it such that one less than or equal to x less than or equal to 10 okay suppose this is a set and in this set also brackets can be used but in brackets there is no any comma no any number in alphabets only uh, this type of set can be expressed in set builder form okay i hope friends you like the video uh, if you like then like comment share and subscribe my channel and in next video we will learn about the types of a set okay but if you have any question in this uh, lecture you can ask in the comment section comment box okay stay connected for more videos thank you